Okay. Without the light in the background behind us there, one of the lights has gone out. I'm going to do video number one. So, um, I'm a subscriber to a magazine, which I don't know if I can say its name or not. Um, but it has like various weird little stories in it. Um, it has like a strange days type of list of mini stories. Interesting things from news around the world. And I'm going to read some out and uh, just, just tell you about them really. So um, this is from uh, March 2024, which is next month. But I've had this magazine for weeks, so I don't understand how magazines and how they rate their months are weird. Hornet Shock. Whoever stole an industrial vacuum cleaner from beekeeper Don Schrump's truck in Philadelphia was likely to get more than they bargained for. Hmm. Is it to do with hornets? Um, the vacuum was there because it was filled with European hornet queens, said Schrump who had just used it to extract a nest of the insects from a local building. Uh, those girls should be full of life and extra spicy. I anxiously await your unboxing video. <sighs> that, that's not a new story. That, that's someone who was purposely set up a vacuum in fact hang on how do you vacuum up all queens truly it says here what is that? hang on uh, european hornet queens there is no european hornets as far as i'm aware but to vacuum up just queens i mean how many hives are you going to go out to get that whoever don shrump is uh, I feel like he set this up automatically. It's not like, as it says here, whoever stole an industrial vacuum cleaner. And I think the vacuum cleaner was purposely put there by Don Schrump. He'll be looking forward to the deaths videoed. I bet he's got a secret video camera inside the vacuum. I bet it's like it's plugged ready for when it's opened and the Horde of Queens are like, kill. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Fingered. When Liam Jones, 27, attempted to rob Barclays Bank in Landudno, North Wales, all he got was a one year prison sentence. Hmm. Having burst into the bank wearing a mask, he gave cashier Karen Starr, she wants to be famous, a note saying, give me all your money or I'll shoot. In Wales, what does shoot mean? However, Starr realised that Jones's gun was just his hand making a gun shape in his pocket. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he was shaking so she uh, tried to stall him until police got there tried to stall him uh, jones though lost his nerve and fled uh, running straight into the arms of arriving police he later told officers he couldn't really remember what had happened in the bank yeah yeah go down the insane route um his defence should be, I'm thick as me. The, the next story is titled, Leg Man. David Bennett, 84, from Derby, is hoping to get into record books for having the world's largest collection of leg-shaped trinkets. Okay. He has 170, ranging from nutcrackers to golf tees. 
They call me the leg man. I must be the only one with this hobby. Yeah, I think leg man's probably a term to use quite regularly. Uh, Bennett says there's a story behind each of each of the items. I mean, who the who the hell is ordering a leg shaped golf tee for a start? Nutcrackers, a leg shaped nutcracker. Unless it's like a devil shaped leg, like a goat leg. I want one. Ooh, the next story is called Dead Legs. At Porton Down Laboratory, Home Office research scientists are examining the possibility of training cadaver detection dogs using amputated legs donated by consenting patients. A, so a spokesperson explained each uh, such studies are vital to evolving our capabilities. But the question here is about who who are these consenting patients who are donating their severed limbs? I mean, a severed limb is going to be definitely like knackered, which you know I'm sure the hospitals have to then put in some sort of re anti-recovery period so that they become cadavers. But if you're gonna have a leg or an arm out here, I mean, if I was gonna have a leg or an arm out here, I would, I would want that leg or that arm back in some kind of like preserved jar or something to show people. There's a picture here of a dog with a dead leg in its mouth as well, which um, a bit weird. Right, that's sidelines part one for March. <laughs>